Hey guys, I'm going to show you how I added a Google ads conversion tracking tag, not only in Google tag manager, but on my HubSpot landing page. Couldn't figure it out at first, but then I did. Now I want to share it with you. Works really well. It's actually a pretty neat solution. Here are my landing pages on HubSpot. If we click on edit on this landing page or whichever one is yours, what you want to do first is implement Google tag manager. So head over to admin on the Google Tag Manager container you've created. Click on install Google Tag Manager. I've already done this, so I'm going to take you through it, but here's what I did first. I clicked on copy for the Google Tag Manager code snippet. Now what we're going to do is we are going to um, add We're going to add the Google Tag Manager code snippet to the head of the page, right? So here, if you go over, let's go over that again. I was clicking around there because I couldn't remember. But if you click on settings at the top, go to advanced. And here is where you are going to paste it. Okay. Grab your Google Tag Manager and paste it in head HTML. So you want it to be the first thing that loads. So one more time, Google Tag Manager, I've created the container. Now over here, the third item on the left, I'm going to click on admin and I'm going to click on install Google Tag Manager. I'm going to copy this back over to HubSpot I'm going to click on settings, click on advanced, and I'm going to paste it in here. Okay, perfect. Now when this landing page loads, Google Tag Manager is also going to load, right? So we can see that that's true, right? We can go to, um, I use tag assistant for this, click on enable. There it is there. Now that doesn't track conversions natively, right? So we have a contact form here and we want to fire our Google ads conversion tracking tag every time this form is successfully submitted. So the way that I'm doing that is I'm going back over to Google tag manager, clicking on tags, and I've created a custom HTML tag. So you're going to go to new, you're going to go to tag configuration, you're going to click on custom HTML, and you're going to paste this here. I'm going to add this to the description, but it's going to look like this. Now what this code is doing is it's listening for the HubSpot form. So once it successfully fires, that form fires an event. And if that is true, right, if the event is either this and it's this on form submitted, we want to fire an event to the data layer. And that event is called HubSpot form submit, right? So we want to listen to this as people navigate the, uh, the, for, the, the landing page. You can call this whatever you like. The trigger, set it to fire on all pages. Okay. So you can see I've done that here. I've called it listen for HubSpot form submit. I've pasted the code here and I've set the trigger to be all pages. So I just clicked on all pages there. Okay. So that's going to fire right away right when the page loads. And then what I've done, I've clicked on new, sorry, I'm going to go to triggers and I've clicked on, I clicked on new under triggers and then I've clicked on custom event. If you only have one form on your page, you can fire the custom event called HubSpot form submit. So you can take that right out of the code here. Oops. And you just call it HubSpot form submit. All right. You can use call this HubSpot form submit trigger. Now I've, I've done that here, right? So I've created a trigger. I've gone to triggers on the left. Let's go over it one more time. Gone to triggers on the left and I've created a trigger. So I've gone to new and the type of trigger is going to be a custom event. Okay. So here's what it looks like. So I've gone to new, created a custom event trigger. 
and I've called it HubSpot Form Submit Trigger. And the event name is HubSpot Form Submit. It's gonna look exactly like that. Okay, and you're gonna just say all custom events. And you're gonna hit save. Now you're gonna create a conversion tracking tag. You're gonna get that information from Google Ads. You're gonna add the conversion ID, the conversion label, and the trigger is gonna be the new custom event that you set up. Okay, then when you do a preview, this will fire on the um, on form submission. Remember, so the code that we put on all pages, let me, let me show you quickly. So preview. Connect. So here we're on it now. And you can see conversion linker fire to have that on all pages. Listen for HubSpot form submit. That was the code that I told you to paste into that custom HTML tag. And then if you go back to our, our page here, you fill out a test. Then I hit submit. Doesn't like that one. You can see what happened, right? An event fired on the left here, HubSpot form submit. That was the event that I told it to listen for. And we're, we're, we're sending this to the data layer. So here it is. And you can see I'm, I'm firing the conversion tracking tag when that event is true or when it's present. So this worked fine. Okay, cool. Hopefully that helped. And I'll add the code to the description.